So no shocker here that Hillary Clinton stole the New York primary, which is really evident with all the stuff we'll be talking about in this video. However, what is shocking is the Democratic and more so the Bernie Sanders supporters slowly already giving up when one battle has been lost and it's fraudulent. So let's talk about it and figure out what to do next, huh? So a lot of crazy things went on during the New York primaries, everything from 63,000 New Yorkers being purged from voter rolls to New York's guidelines of not letting independent voters vote, which is absolutely insane to me. That's 3 million Americans who were denied the right to vote. I don't care if you're a Democrat who thinks the DNC's regulations about needing to register and all that stuff is appropriate. It isn't. Everybody in this country should be given their right to vote. It is not a privilege. It is a right. This, the fact that they're enforcing voter ID laws is fraudulent at least. I mean, seriously, the fact that we're shutting down polls, we're, we're not opening enough polls, we can't make sure that everybody who comes to vote is allowed to vote, and we make it really inaccessible for people who have a hard time getting an ID or getting to the voting poll and staying there and wasting an entire day to vote. This is absolutely insane and we're not figuring out solutions. But as we sit on this roller coaster and just let the puppeteers go wild, uh, we watch again as the chair's being handed over to Hillary Clinton. That's fine and fair and dandy. I hope her dumbass gets indicted after she gets this nom because it's basically being stolen. Uh, and after she does get the numb, I want people to be talking about what us progressive Bernie Sanders supporters would do in order to make our impact felt. Because I do think we have options. We have the option to still fully support Bernie Sanders, hopefully on an independent ticket with maybe a Jill Stein or an Elizabeth Warren as his running mate VP. That would be an unstoppable ticket, and I don't care if you think because of the past uh, independent candidate could not win. Nobody likes Hillary Clinton this term. A video is floating around in black internets where she went on The Breakfast Club to do the morning show with Charlemagne the God, he's my favorite, and Angela Yee and those kids. And they were straight up just asking her, like, what are your favorite things? Her answer was straight up from Beyonce's formation, and she said, hot sauce in my bag. Fuck her. Literally, Charlemagne was like, are you just pandering to black people? And she ended up saying, yeah, is it working? Is it working? I mean, literally pandering means I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, so you vote for me, but I'm never going to do anything for you. She is saying that on a morning radio show. This woman is so tired of lying, she can't keep doing it. It's spilling out of her. The truth is slowly leaking out, and yet it's going to be just too late. You can see she's getting angry. She can't lie as well. She's having a really hard time speaking at these debates and everything, and I think it's because Bernie has derailed her. She isn't comfortable spewing the rhetoric in the speech because people are calling her on everything as they should. I'm tired of her thinking she's being overly scrutinized because she's a woman or because she's a Clinton, whatever. You can fuck yourself. You're being heavily scrutinized because you're a dirty politician. It doesn't matter if you are a man or a woman. It doesn't matter if you are white or black. It matters your quality of your integrity. And you don't have none, bitch. Like, I can't even call her her real name anymore. I have to call her hashtag Hillclit. I cannot take her seriously, and she will never be my president. She is not the leader of my nation. That's insane. I will never, ever, ever fucking mm -mm. and I love when people are like then you can leave the country well that's not patriotic you dumb bastard it's not patriotic to oops I lost a battle I'm not gonna win the war so I'm gonna get out of here no I'm gonna fight I'm gonna fight because I don't want a weak leader in charge of our nation I want a Bernie Sanders I want a Jill Stein I want an Elizabeth Warren I want a Ruth Bader Ginsburg and isn't it funny how most of these are women how about we're done with the old white saggy balls in office like have we had enough? Uh, I don't count Bernie Sanders as old saggy balls because um, he's just beautiful. He's so cute. I love him. Uh, but anyway, I did want to bring this up to everybody's attention. I don't know if people are paying attention to New York. It's all, it was immediately called for Hillary. She did not win by very much, and that's sad for her. She knows she has no support. She is winning this office with no support. It is being bought and paid for. She won southern states. 
people. She can't beat any of the Republicans. She can't beat Trump. She can't beat Cruz. She can't beat Kasich. Uh, but Bernie beats them all. And we've talked about that. And yet we're not talking solutions for after. I do think he could run independent. I also think that him not supporting Hillary Clinton would be a huge blow to her because that's not really happened in a Democrat's past, not getting the full support of anybody running against them. I think it's going to happen on the Republican side as well, which will be interesting to watch. Um, but I think there are even more options. I think Bernie Sanders could also tell the people to stand up to government and say, we're not going along with the charade of an election. We, we demand answers. We demand justice. I mean, we're literally ending movie plotline election themes right now. Like the fact that we're watching a primary being stolen um, and people are outraged. Black America's outraged. Gay America's outraged. Minorities in general are outraged. You have Mexican and Latinos, Asians. Um, everybody's pissed. Nobody is happy with the quality of this election or any of the politicians running. The one ray of hope, Bernie Sanders, who has helped just give people a voice, help speak for and with people of minority. He's being stifled out and we're not standing up hard enough. And then, you know, the opposition is mainly coming from Hillary supporters. Republicans aren't really creaming Bernie that much. And even when they are, the supporters aren't feeling much of the heat from Republicans. It's all fellow Democrats. And then they have the audacity to scream, party unity, like, fuck you. How about we support the better of two candidates that is really willing to stand up for what Democrats believe in. You aren't a Democrat if you stand for Hillary Clinton. You're standing for status quo. You stand for keeping things as they are so that our militant militia style government can send out their standing army militarized police to shoot and get rid of anybody who stands in their way. I mean, we live in a sick time. We all know it, and I'm tired of ranting about it because nobody continues the discussion in comments below. So take it on yourselves to be responsible and figure out what the fuck you're going to do because uh, you're literally getting nowhere. And it's just fun saying these words because I truly do believe them. I think most of this country is hell-bent in staying stuck in the mud. You don't really want to progress. I think the progressives in this country are getting fed up. I'm curious to see where that's going to go, myself included. I don't know what to do. I believe in standing strong and fighting for a country I believe in. I want to stay here and do that. And I think in 100 years, people like myself will be the Paul Revere's of the country. It'll be the people who truly were patriotic, stood up for what America stood for, the values of not having borders, allowing freedom for all, and having free speech. And I really believe in those things. Um, but apparently the rest of this country does not. So put your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. I'm sure it's fucking fascinating. Uh, but think about it. Think about how Hillary is grabbing at things right now. And this is just a primary. What is she going to do when she's up against, you know, the Republicans? And I have a feeling that if it's Donald Trump, the Republicans are going to funnel money into Hillary's campaign. So it'll be interesting to see what happens. But don't give up on Bernie. Feel the burn. He's still doing good. And even if he isn't given the Democratic nom, which we've known for a while wasn't going to happen, he has many options. Don't waver in support. Do not throw your support behind Hillary. Think about what you're doing and have smart conversation. Really get people provoked and thinking about Bernie Sanders and what he did what he's done thus far, and how he's changed politics and the system already for the future. Because it's good. It's good things, and there are good things that came out of this absolute clown car of a facade we've been watching for almost a year now. Absolutely depressing. Anyway, I want to keep this Politico video short because I've had too many of them, and I don't even care anymore. So, do you think about what you're going to do come this voting election season, and let's have a discussion. Take care. Peace out.